the name of God, Ram Ram. Always start everything with the name of God. Then no one will be able to stop you. Okay. Yeah. So now. The most important thing is this problem, right? Which was asked in a lead code contest, uh, I think 404 not found. <laughs> As the jokes say. Yeah, so guys, this is an interesting problem on trees and graphs. But before we start discussing that, you should, I assume that you are my mentoring student and you are doing the 800 hour course really well. Okay. Apart from that, you must have watched the five sessions on tree from the course. Okay. Five sessions on tree you should know what is bfs dfs on a tree you should know what trees are you should know the post order traversal trick on a general tree how it helps in computing the dp on trees i hope you guys have this knowledge even if you don't have i'll try my best to explain you these things also it's a rainy day in mumbai okay i'm currently located in mumbai it's a rainy day so that's why i did not <laughs> wake up on time and I missed the today's contest. So anyways, I directly opened the last question and found it to be really interesting. So let's try to solve this question. Before that, let's try to discuss what is a tree. Okay. So guys, uh, yeah, what is a tree? Like tree is nothing but a graph. Tree is nothing but our graph with n nodes and n minus one edges. Okay. Let's discuss the solution sketch. It should have n nodes and n minus one edges. Okay. And it is a single component. It is a single component. Okay. So guys, tree looks something like this. Okay. See, this is a tree. Like a binary tree I was showing you. So how many nodes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven nodes and the number of edges are always seven minus one, six. 1 edge, 2 edge, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 edges are there and it is a single connected component. Okay. Another speciality of the tree is that there is only a single path from node U to node V. For example, let's say I make a tree like this. Okay. This is the node U and this is the node V. If someone asks you, please tell me the path from node U to node V. The nice thing is that there is only exists one path. Okay, if someone asks you the shortest path or the longest path from U to V, they are making a joke with you because there is no shortest path or longest path from U to V. There is only a single path from U to V. So, this blue path is the only path to go from U to V. Like this in a tree in general, special property. For any pair of nodes, for uh, any uh, for any uh, pa for any u comma v pair, there is only a single path, single path in the tree from u to v. Okay, so these many things are clear to you. Now guys, uh, before I go ahead, now you should know what is the height of a tree. So let's say I'm in the question, they have given you a general tree. So general tree can have any number of nodes. Okay. The parent child relationship you should know. I assume that you know that. Okay. So this is a general tree. Okay. So you should know that child parent relationship, child parent relationship. So what does this mean guys? Each node has only one parent. So see this nodes, if this is our current node, the parent is this node. Okay. The, the node above your current node is your parent and there is only one parent to each node. Okay. For example, let's give me, let's give the numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Who is the parent of 8? You can make a parent array and you will know who is the parent of 8. Parent of 8 is 4. 8 ke upar char hai na, isle uska baap hai. <laughs> parent of 8 is 4. Okay, okay, okay. Who is parent of uh, 2? Parent of two means guy about two. So there is only a single guy. So parent of two is one. So I hope you understood these things. So guys, the thing is that whenever you do a DFS, now, 
whenever you do a DFS on this tree, whenever you do a DFS on this tree, you can calculate in an parent array. You will know parent of I will tell you what is the parent of the ith number node. Okay. So I hope you understand the child parent relationship. Each one can have only each node can have only one parent, but each parent can have multiple children. Okay. I hope you can relate to it in some manner. Okay. For example, in human, there is only a single uh, mother and a single father for a child. Okay. Let's call them both as single parent, but the children can be multiple, right? That's how it goes. So now before going ahead, I want to discuss with you a concept which is called as the longest path in a tree. Okay, longest path in a tree. So if I give you a tree like this. And if I ask you, what is the longest path in this tree? Longest path in the tree. Longest path in the tree is also called as the diameter in the tree. Okay. So you will say that, sir, longest path in the tree is I start from here. Then I go till here. This is the longest path, right? That blue color path. First you go here. Then here, then here, then here, then this, 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 dun, 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 khata, khat, khata, khat, khata, khat. Yeah, that Rahul Gandhi joke. So guys, do you understand? I hope so. That uh, this is the longest path in the tree. It is also called as the diameter of the tree. So I will uh, write it as uh, longest path in the tree is nothing but diameter of the tree can be calculated in can be calculated in o of n square guys this is common sense actually like uh, this is really common sense diameter of tree can be calculated in o of n square how for each node i for each node i do dfs or bfs and find the level of the farthest node. That farthest node will be the longest path. Let me show it to you with a live example. So this is very easy actually. Suppose I have a tree de rakha hai, okay? Okay. okay, sir. Uh, I got your tree. I really like your tree. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, guys, you will be fixing each node. Okay. First, you will fix the, let's say this is node number one. Okay. Okay. And then. This is node number two, node number three, node number four. Okay. So if I am running a for loop where it is I is going from one to n, okay, I will be checking each node. So let's say my i is equal to one. Now I will call DFS of one function. DFS of one kya karega? Ya BFS of one. Jo chahiye aap laga lo. What will it do? It will travel the whole tree from node number one. So it will be here. Okay. Then uh, it will go to the next levels. Okay. The current uh, level is let's say zero. Okay. Then it will go here level one, level one, level one. Then it will go to the next level, level two, level two. Then the next level of nodes, level three, level three, then level four, then level five. If I start traveling everything from source node one, I can get the maximum level as five. 
मैक्सिमम लेवल फाइव दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द फार्देस्ट नोड ये नोड हमारे नोड नंबर वन से सबसे ज्यादा दूर है सो इफ आई कंसिडर वन एज माई मेन नोड द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ इज ऑफ साइज फाइव अगर मैं यहां से लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ निकालूंगा तो सब ट्रेवल करते करते फाइव तक ही पहुंच पाऊंगा समझे तो वॉट डज दिस एल्गोरिदम टेल्स यू गाइस इट टेल्स यू दैट यू विल बी ट्राइंग दिस थिंग फॉर ईच नोड जब मैंने आई इक्वल टू वन से ट्राई किया तो लॉन्गेस्ट लेंथ फाइव आया वैसे ही नाउ आई विल ट्राई विद डिफरेंट आई विल ट्राई विद आई इक्वल टू टू डिफरेंट आंसर विल कम आई विल ट्राई विद आई इक्वल टू थ्री डिफरेंट आंसर विल कम लेट्स ट्राई विद आई इक्वल टू फोर गाइज लेट स्टार्ट ट्रेवलिंग इन द ब्रेथ फॉर सच मैनर फ्रॉम आई इक्वल टू फोर ये नोट से ट्रेवल करना चालू करता है तो इसको लेवल जीरो लगेगा ये लेवल वन पर आएगा ये लेवल टू पर आएगा ये लेवल थ्री और ये भी लेवल थ्री ये लेवल फोर पर आएगा ये लेवल फाइव फाइव ये लेवल सिक्स लेवल सेवन गाइज 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 इफ यू स्टार्ट योर ट्रेवर्सल फ्रॉम नोट नंबर फोर यू आर एबल टू रीच द फार्देस्ट लेवल ऑफ सेवन मतलब सेवन का लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ बन रहा है If you start your traveling from node number four, this red color path is becoming the longest path. The I equal to four plus seven is the answer. So guys, like this, you will calculate for each I what will like for each I you will start the traveling of BFS from that node, considering this as the source node. For each node, you will get the longest path. Whatever is the maximum of all of them, that is the answer. फाइव भी पॉसिबल था ये भी था ये भी था ये भी था सेवन सबसे बड़ा है सेवन इज द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ इन द ट्री ओके आई होप यू गॉट दल गो सो दिंग इज दैट वेल दैट वॉज दवर सो हेलो गाइज विद नेम ऑफ गॉड राम राम द एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन इज रियली डिफिकल्ट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू पुट अ डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन दे आर सेंग दैट यू आर गिवन टू ट्रीज हाउ मेनी ट्रीज आर गिवन टू यू two trees are given to you you have to join the two trees join the two trees join the two trees just join the two trees such that the final 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 longest path is maximum in actual question they are asking minimum longest path but let's first calculate maximum longest path In short, they are saying that join the two trees with a single edge. Make a single edge and join the two trees. Then the final longest path should be maximum. For example, let me make this tree for you people. Okay. How will you join these two trees such that their final longest path is maximum? Common sense is first you find the longest path here, guys. Which is the longest path in this tree? I am coloring it with blue color. This is the longest path. Okay. Let's say you run some algorithm and you are able to get the longest path here. Okay. You get the longest path here. Okay, we already discussed the algorithm to get the longest path. We discussed the n square algorithm. O of n algorithm we will discuss later on. But let's assume you find the longest path here. Guys, how will you find the longest path here? Let's say this path is length is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight nodes are there, so eight. Let's call it as eight. Like it depends on the question. Somewhere the they can say that they only want the number of edges. In that case, the answer would be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven edge. But in this question, they want the number of nodes in the longest path. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the answer. Okay. Here, what will be the longest path? As you can see, this is the longest part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the longest path. So, guys, 
अब आप ही अपना दिमाग लगाइए कि इन दोनों ट्री को कैसे ज्वाइन करूं कि भाई फाइनली जो ट्री बने उसका लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ एकदम बड़ा हो हाउ डू आई ज्वाइन दीज टू ट्रीज सच दैट द फाइनल लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ आफ्टर ज्वाइनिंग द टू ट्रीज इज मैक्सिम गाइस common sense is join the end point the longest path of this tree is 8 longest path of uh, this tree is 7 if you want the maximum of both after joining answer should be 8 plus 7 15 how will you get 15 take the end point of this node and start with the join with the start point or the other end point of the longest path of this tree So if you join it like this, guys, <laughs> job is done. Eight plus seven, fifteen. Eight plus seven, fifteen. So 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 so. If you want to find, if you want to find longest path after joining two trees, solution is what? find the longest path in first tree which is t1 then find longest path find plus find longest path in second tree which is t2 answer is t1 plus t2 So guys, I hope you understood what I am trying to say. How how is the answer T one plus T two? You join the end point of the longest path of the first tree with the end point of the longest path of the second tree. In दोनों को जोड़ोगे तो ये longest path पूरा ये वाला बन जाएगा ना? समझे? Feeling आ गई? Yes, guys. Now I'll give you one more example. कोड विच इसको हैपन रिसेंटली इफ यू गाइज वॉन्ट द सोल्यूशन यू कैन चेक इट आउट ओके नाउ गाइज आई एम गिविंग यू टू मोर ट्रीज एवरी वन क्विकली टेल मी वॉट विल बी द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ आफ्टर ज्वाइनिंग दम Same algorithm. Find the longest path here. What is the longest path? One, two, three, four, five, six. What is the longest path here? One, two, three. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Longest path here is nine. How to find the longest path? That is a different thing. We will discuss later. First, let's say we found the longest path. Six and nine. answer if you want to join these two trees such that the longest path becomes maximum that longest maximum path will be 6 plus 9 15 how what is the optimal way to join take any end point let's say i took this end point and join with it this end point ab ye longest path dekho na 6 aur 9 add ho gaya so i hope you got the logic but guys the question is different why are why are why is our dsa community and the dsa program the most brilliant program in the country because if i wanted i could have made you do the actual question directly but that would not help you in improving your thinking skills and analytical skills we are fully focused on improving your thinking and analytical skills to the next level now because you know how to find the maximum longest path after joining two trees you know that you know that now guys the actual question which was asked in the examination was that you have to join the two trees but the longest path after joining should be minimum diameter means the longest path okay so guys the thing is that this is now a very interesting problem okay
सो गाइज इन दिस एग्जाम्पल ओनली यू टेल मी यूज योर कॉमन सेंस ओके ओके लेट मी इरे इज दैट दीज आर द टू ट्रीज गिवन टू यू यू नो देर लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ इंडिविजुअली नाउ हाउ विल यू ज्वाइन दैम सो दैट द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ बिकम्स मिनिमम हाउ टू मेक इट मैक्सिमम आई नो ज्वाइन द फर्स्ट एंड पॉइंट विद द नेक्स्ट एंड पॉइंट छह और नौ पंद्रह आ गया बट अब हाउ टू ज्वाइन इट सो दैट द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ इज कमिंग मिनिमम use your common sense guys for the first tree this is the longest path for the second tree this is the longest path now now what to do how will you join it so that the longest path becomes the smallest possible one option is what i take any end point and i join with this end point this is wrong because if i join the end points the total length will add it get added 15 is the bigger number i want smaller answer so guys another option you can see is that you can take in this longest path you can take some other node okay and try to join it with the other node yes it is decreasing the length guys dekho 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 this was the longest path instead of taking the end node i have taken the n minus 1 node okay just one node before the end now what will be the longest length this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 yes you are able to minimize the longest path great job great job buddy great job rather than joining the end points if i am joining the one if i am joining the end minus 1 point of this tree with end minus 1 point of this tree then i am getting better results guys what if i join end minus 2 points of both the trees it will give even better result what if i join this point with this point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 11 is even better than 13 you are getting minimum minimum every time guys now is the observation clear to you if this is the longest path of the first tree and this is the longest path of the second tree if you join the end points this will become the largest i don't want the largest if i don't want the largest uh, longest path i want the minimum longest path so first common sense which comes in your mind is that join the end minus one point of both of them right yes 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 earlier longest path was 10 okay full this phi and this phi and you are ending the joining the last part it was becoming 10 but if you join the End minus one point of both of them, then it is four uh, plus four eight. Can you make it even more minimum? Yes, sir. I can join the middle point of both the longest path. Ha ha ha! That will give me the best answer. See, joining both of them is giving me ten as the answer. Joining these both is giving me eight as the answer. But if I join these both guys, answer will be five. Ha ha ha! you can see my observation why 1 2 3 oh not 5 6 sorry 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 for that 3 4 5 6 so guys now the solution is clear that if two longest path of two trees are given you should always join the middle point middle point of both the trees you should join that is always the best answer
नाउ गाइज बिकॉज ऑफ सिमेट्रिकल नेचर ना If you think कि भाई इनको join कर लो तो this will give the same answer as this. This was giving eight, so joining these both will also give you eight. And uh, if you join these both only, then also it will give you eight. And if you join these both, it will give you ten. These both also, if you join, it will give you ten. The best way is to join this, the middle part of both, middle part, middle part, middle node of the this longest path and middle node of this longest path. They will give you the minimum answer six. So guys. Dun 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 dun. The problem has been solved, guys. Our brilliant problem has now been solved, and it's a pleasure to know that. Okay. So, guys, we will not go into deeper mathematics of it. We will just try to get the intuition. Rest of the things, I hope my students can do by themselves also. Okay. For example, yeah, I like. Uh, I might have done a little bit of mistake in uh, the definition of the longest path. For example, I I have not exactly seen the question. So either the longest path can be four or three. So, boy, ये तुम खुद से समझ लेना, ठीक है? कुमार के सर ने सही लॉजिक बताया है. But question nodes को consider कर रहा है या edges को consider कर रहा है वो नहीं पता. अगर nodes को consider कर रहा है तो समझ लेना longest path चार है. और edges को longest path में consider कर रहा है तो तीन है. Okay. so that much i don't want you to take so much stress of those things okay okay sir we agree with it okay we we agree with it for example if i see in this case i can see one edge two edge three edge four edges four edges i can see here okay and if i see in this question uh let's say Okay, I got it. I got it. They are uh, talking about the number of edges in the path. Okay, number of edges, number of edges. So, like, if I redefine everything for you, it will be like this. That uh, the longest path is what the number of edges, not the number of nodes. Okay, so one, two, three, four, 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 uh, four is the longest path. Okay, so if I now give you two things, you just tell me the answer. Okay. What is the best way to join these two trees such that the longest path becomes minimum? The longest path of this is what? First edge, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Six edges are there. Okay, I will take the middle of this one. Longest path of this one edge, two edge, three edge, four edge, five edge, six edge, seven edge. Okay, this is the longest path. So seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the this. Okay. Now I will take the middle of this. One two three, one two three. Okay, these both are the middle nodes. Let's take this is this as the middle node, and I will join it with the middle node of this tree, which is this node. So what will happen? Six by two will be getting added here. Seven by two will be getting added here, and this one edge here. So guys, what is the formula? Solution. Answer is seven by two plus six by two plus one. One is the new edge added. Okay, new edge added. Okay, one is the new edge added. So, guys, the solution to the problem is that uh, for and for the smallest path, for the smallest path, answer is t one by two plus t two. By two plus one. Okay, you 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 extract the longest path from both of them and then join the middle node of this path with the middle node of this path. So this by two, this edge one, and this by two is the answer. Okay, so I hope you guys uh, finally got it. And similar was the solution in this case as well. As you can see, one two edge and three four four edges could have been the answer. So guys, I hope you understood all these uh, terminologies which I was uh, trying to explain you. So guys, the solution is simple. What will you do? Okay, that's our preview of eighteen hour content. It's with the name of God, Ram Ram. Now we are going to learn how to find the longest path in the tree. Okay, so if we come here, 
the algorithm to find the longest path let's assume that our tree is rooted at node number 1 okay we will use guys post order traversal of dfs we will start traveling the bottom nodes and first we will just try to calculate the height of the tree height is nothing but what longest downward path from node i is nothing but the height of the node i so longest distance from current node to some leaf node is nothing but the longest path from node i in downward direction so now we have solved the problem but how to get the longest path in the tree now of n that's what i need to tell you there are two ways one is the greedy algorithm which you can google and you can easily get it but it is not very intuitive another is the dynamic programming method that is intuitive that is having full clarity because here we will be exploring all the ways okay in an efficient manner obviously so let me show you the dp way in this problem and i hope i hope it helps you a lot i don't remember the name of the trick i'm going to teach you but as far as i remember there was a guy or a girl her, her or his name is ever rule on code forces they put up a blog on this like 5 6 years ago when i used to do competitive programming i saw that blog and it really helped a lot you guys can also search so that's the same trick which i'm going to teach you first of all this is a tree given to you okay node number 1 node number 2 3 4 5 6 7 you want to calculate height of each node so first you will do the dfs from the bottom dfs in post order traversal first you will travel the bottom nodes okay so guys which are the bottom most node tree is rooted here this is the main node at the top so which is the bottom node 6 and 7 right so height of 6 6 is a leaf there is no more children so height of 6 you update as 1 and height of 7 you update as 1 okay great job now what to do how will you calculate the height of 4 height of 4 is nothing but the height of 6 only plus 1 or height of 7 plus 1 so it is nothing but 1 plus maximum of the height of 6 and 7 h of 6 comma h of 7 so guys you now know that uh, height of 4 is 2 do you understand the meaning of height of 4 equal to 2 iska matlab kya jante ho height of 4 equal to 2 ka matlab ye hai ki agar main four node se niche travel karunga na to mujhe total do node hi milne wale hai aur ye sach baat hai फोर से नीचे ट्रेवल करोगे तो फोर अगर इफ यू ट्रेवल इन अ वर्टिकल मैनर इन अ डाउनवर्ड वे यू विल गेट ओनली मैक्सिमम टू लेंथ पाथ फोर टू सिक्स टू लेंथ पाथ और फोर टू सेवन टू लेंथ पाथ सो हाइट ऑफ आई का मतलब समझो इफ दिस इज द नोड आई ना ओके So, high, H of I का मतलब मालूम है क्या है एच ऑफ आई का मतलब है द लॉन्गेस्ट वर्टिकल डाउनवर्ड पाथ सो गाइज विच इज द लॉन्गेस्ट वर्टिकल डाउनवर्ड पाथ फ्रॉम ईयर दिस इज द लॉन्गेस्ट वर्टिकल डाउनवर्ड पाथ राइट राइट लेट से दिस नोड इज के वन एंड दिस नोड इज के टू यू ऑलरेडी नो द हाइट ऑफ के वन यू ऑलरेडी नो द हाइट ऑफ के टू सो हाइट ऑफ आई इज नथिंग बट वन one because of this himself the node plus maximum of height of k1 comma height of k2 in dono mein jo maximum hai na uske sath one add karo tumko tumhari height mil jayegi so i hope you understood this brilliant concept okay so guys uh, everything is pretty simple i will first travel these downward nodes like this then first i will travel 6 and 7 then i will travel 5 and 4 then i will travel 2 and 3 i hope you know this from our course 800 hour course then i will come one so guys whenever i am at at node i how will i calculate the height the formula is this height of i is nothing but 1 plus maximum height of c1 c2 c3 where these are nothing but the children of your node okay c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 are nothing but children of node i children of node i okay and it is guaranteed that the answers of all the children have been computed in advance
जब तुम नोट नंबर वन का हाइट कैलकुलेट कर रहे हो तो गारंटी है कि भाई टू थ्री पे पहले ही ट्रेवल कर चुके हो और इनके आंसर निकाल चुके हो तभी तो आंसर में बोलोगे हाइट ऑफ वन इज वन प्लस मैक्स ऑफ दिस एंड दिस टू एंड थ्री तो पहले ये सब नीचे का पार्ट कैलकुलेट होने के बाद ही यहाँ पर आना है ओके सो दिस मच इज आई होप इट्स क्लियर यू ओके सो गाइज हाइट थिंग इज क्लियर बट नाउ आई वॉन्ट यू टू विजुअलाइज वॉट इज द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ हाइट हाइट इज नथिंग बट द लॉन्गेस्ट डाउनवर्ड पाथ फ्रॉम नोड आई ओके सो नाउ गाइज लेट्स अज्यूम फॉर इच नोड वी नो द लॉन्गेस्ट डाउनवर्ड पाथ एंड एक्चुअली द लॉन्गेस्ट डाउनवर्ड पाथ कैन मेनी टाइम्स बी द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ इन द ट्री ऑल्सो ओके सो लॉन्गेस्ट डाउनवर्ड पाथ गाइज लॉन्गेस्ट डाउनवर्ड पाथ So let's say this is the root number one, okay, top node. Now, guys, while doing the DFS, considering this as the top node, what will be the height of this node? One, two, three, four, five. Height of this one, and then max of this five, then one six, then seven. So, guys, height of node number one is seven. So, guys, height of one of seven का मतलब क्या है? If I start going downward from node number one, the maximum path I can go down is nothing but of length seven. Let's assume that, okay? Plus one, minus one, you can do depending on if you are considering number of edges or number of nodes. So, guys, if you do maximum of h of i, you will surely know at least one path which is in vertical downward fashion, which is the maximum, okay? So I hope this much is clear to you. Like, what are we calculating? Max of height of one, comma height of two, comma height of n will give us. will give us the longest path in tree which is strictly vertical in nature that's the only problem with this o of n algorithm in o of n okay because we are doing a single dfs we have found the longest path but unfortunately this is a vertical only it is a vertical path only for example ye tree le lo aap zara ठीक है अब अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर एल्गोरिदम इफ यू सी ना आवर दिस इज द नोट नंबर वन आवर एल्गोरिदम विल से द हाइट इज वन वन टू वन वन टू थ्री सो इफ यू टेक मैक्स ऑफ ऑल ऑफ देम थ्री इज द आंसर आवर एल्गोरिदम इज विल से दैट द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ इन द ट्री इज थ्री बट 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 थ्री इज नॉट द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ थ्री इज द लॉन्गेस्ट वर्टिकल पाथ इन द ट्री Three is nothing but the longest vertical path. What is the longest vertical path? I can show you. See, this is the longest vertical path. It is correct, but it only goes in one direction downwards. The actual longest path can be non-vertical in nature. What is a non-vertical path? Non-vertical path. This is a non-vertical path. Non-vertical path is this. When you are traveling another branch, also this is non-V shape. If the longest path is of V shape, then this cannot be tracked by our algorithm. Our algorithm can only track a vertical. This vertical longest path our algorithm can find. Our algorithm cannot find V shape longest path. Uh, upside down V shape longest path. Okay. बात ये है ना कि जब भी तुमको generally tree देते हैं ना इतना लंबा चौड़ा सा. अरे कोई भी tree निकाल लो यार. Okay. सो लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ जनरली मालूम है क्या होता है लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ जनरली इज वी शेप लाइक दिस गॉट इट गाइस 
लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ क्या होता है कि जनरली वी शेप का होता है वॉट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ गाइज इट इज जनरली ऑफ वी शेप नेचर सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू नो द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ इज वी शेप नेचर एंड आवर एल्गोरिदम इज ओनली कैलकुलेटिंग द आवर एल्गोरिदम अगर इफ वी इफ वी कैलकुलेट हाइट ऑफ ईच नोड फॉर दिस नोड यू नो वॉट इट विल गिव यू इट विल गिव यू दिस थिंग height of this node will be nothing but only this much part vertical it ne- it only entertains vertical it d- does not entertain upside upside down b okay so i hope these many basic things uh, got clear to you people okay these basic things uh, go now i want you to do the observation we are very successful with this algorithm we are at least able to find the longest path which is vertical in nature how to find the longest path how to find the longest path which is upside upside down v in nature because that can also be the answer right so this is actually very easy guys very very easy like <laughs> for example let me show you this what is the longest path upside down v this v is the longest path right this v so guys you can try to find the peak point of the v what is the peak point this node is the peak node okay so guys first thing what you will do is for each node i for each node i consider it as the peak node consider it as the consider it as the peak node okay yes sir for each node i consider it as 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 it at the peak node okay now find the two longest paths from here in downward direction <laughs> that's it guys that's the brilliant solution for it now guys you know the peak node na earlier what i was doing i was finding the longest path right now find the first longest path in downward direction and second longest path in downward direction okay so first longest path in direct di- downward direction is what i'm making it with black color or let's say yellow color this is the first longest path in downward direction for if you consider this as the peak node first longest path in downward direction then second yellow is the second longest path in the downward direction so if this length is l1 this length is l2 answer is <laughs> l1 plus l2 minus 1 so for each node i for each node i if you know the two longest path from here in downward direction you add them you will know all the upside v down longest path also and now guys you have done and calculated the answer this is really brilliant 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 things going on here i know you have learned many concepts here okay so guys kya hai solution pro- what is the solution to the problem see first you run the normal algorithm okay height of i height of i is telling you what height of i is telling you the longest path from node i in downward direction okay so i am writing here height of i is telling you what longest path from node i in downward direction
नाउ आई विल मेक अनदर एरे हाइट ऑफ टू आई सेकेंड लॉन्गेस्ट अरे भाई फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाउ विल यू नो द सेकेंड लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ ये जो इसका मैक्सिमम आ रहा है ना इसमें फर्स्ट के साथ सेकेंड मैक्सिमम ढूंढना सिखाया होगा आपको बचपन में जब आप कोडिंग कर रहे थे इफ यू आर गिव वन के नंबर यू कैन फाइंड द मैक्सिमम बट यू कैन फाइंड द सेकेंड मैक्सिमम बाय अगेन ट्रेवलिंग दिस के नंबर एंड इग्नोर द मैक्सिमम नंबर दिस टाइम यू विल फाइंड द सेकेंड मैक्सिमम so second longest path sometimes it can happen that guys height 2 of i is 0 aisa ho sakta hai ki second longest path exist hi nahi karta for example you take this node this node as the peak node okay uh, not this one wait wait Let's say guys, this is my tree, okay? Let's say this is my peak node, okay? So what will be height of i for this? The longest path is like one, two. Longest downward path is one, two, three, four, five. So height of i is five. But what is height of two of i? Is there any second longest path downward? नहीं एक ही तो पाथ है दूसरा मिल ही नहीं रहा है सो हाइट टू ऑफ आई विल बी जीरो इन दैट केस वॉट इट अगर दो पाथ यहां से नहीं है तो फिर मैं इसको वी शेप में इफ देर आर नोट इफ टू वर्टिकल लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ आर नॉट देर फ्रॉम दिस नोट देन आई कैन नॉट मेक अ लॉन्गेस्ट वी पाथ एट दिस नोट इफ आई ट्राई द लॉन्गेस्ट वी पाथ और वर्टिकल पार्ट एट एवरी नोट एंड आई टेक द मैक्सिम ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दैम आई विल फाइनली गेट द लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ इन दी नो ऑफ एन टाइम ओके so now here you only think this is your node i okay what is height of i height of i the longest path is this one right vertically 1 2 3 4 5 6 height of i 6 what is height 2 of i सेकेंड लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ सेकेंड लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ के लिए और भी ऑप्शन है देखो या तो फिर ये वाला ले लो या तो फिर ये वाला ले लो दिखती बात है सेकेंड लॉन्गेस्ट इज द लेफ्ट वन सेकेंड लॉन्गेस्ट इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव दिस वन सो गाय सी इफ यू ज्वाइन द फर्स्ट लॉन्गेज विद सेकेंड लॉन्गेज यू विल गेट अ अपसाइड डाउन वी शेप ओके सो हाई टू ऑफ हाई इज वॉट फाइव सो वॉट विल बी द आंसर longest path at node i is nothing but height of i plus height 2 of i minus 1 6 aur 5 ko add karo aur minus 1 kar do samjhe aur agar ye zero hai to ye already kya kehte hain then you need to be a little careful about it okay तो फिर माइनस वन मत करना ठीक है सो लॉन्गेस्ट ऑफ आई का मतलब क्या हो गया लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ फ्रॉम नोड आई इफ नोड आई इज कंसीडर्ड एज द पीक नोड कंसीडर्ड एज द पीक नोड ऑफ upside down v shape okay brilliant guys brilliant 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 okay we got ram ram we know the perfect solution now it is very very easy okay for each node i you will consider this as the peak node peak node you will try to find the first longest path like this okay first longest path l1 then second longest path l2 answer will be what l1 plus l2 minus 1 okay i will do like this for each node so longest of i will tell me the longest path longest path from node i if node i is considered as the peak node each node can be the peak node right so i will try it for all the nodes longest of i longest path from node i if node i is considered as the peak node of upside down v shape and this is nothing but uh 
height one of i plus height two of i height one of i plus height two of i minus one take care of special case when height two of i equal to zero in that case guys the answer will be nothing but just height one of i only a single vertical path is there in that case so guys you can do it in a single dfs you can calculate height one height two i o of n way everything can be done if there are n minus one edges n plus m two n minus one so it can be easily done i leave that up to the reader to understand and do the things so i hope you really learned a lot from it and really liked it take care uh,